Welcome to Synagogues of Scotland Part 2. We start out taking a look at the Glasgow Reform Synagogue. Glasgow has about 600,000 residents and is in Scotland's western lowlands. This is purportedly the only Reform Synagogue in Scotland. Services are held every Saturday morning for Shabbat starting at 10.30 a.m. and on the last Friday of the month at 7 p.m. Located on the south side of the city, it has been in existence for over 75 years. They currently do not have a permanent rabbi, but rather utilize lay leaders and an occasional visiting or student rabbi. We move along to Langside, which is in the Glasgow metropolitan area. It means Long Hill. Don't know if it's coincidental, but it's on a street named Nidre Road, as in Col Nidre, the Yom Kippur liturgical poem. Its congregation was established around 1915 and is of the Orthodox persuasion. In recent years, it has seen a vast decline in its membership, going from about 600 down to closer to 100. Although the congregation was established more than 100 years ago, this building was erected in 1926, and only in 2004 did it become used by the Langside Congregation. It's not easy to get a fix on the location of the Lubavitch Chabad facility. There may be one, or it may possibly be the residence of the local director. It is interesting to point out that on their website, they mention that there's about 5,500 Jews in Glasgow, but less than 2,000 who belong to shuls. There are five Orthodox shuls, but only one has a guaranteed daily minion. There are two stores selling kosher food, but there's no butcher or bakery. And there's about 15 Jewish births a year, whereas intermarriage and interdating is at the 70% level. Newton Mearns is another suburb of Glasgow. The Newton Mearns Synagogue was established in 1954 and is also of the Orthodox persuasion. It recently had a Rabbi Ellie Wolfson as its spiritual leader of a congregation of in the neighborhood of 400 members. Apparently, though, it now lists a Rabbi Naftali Lipschitz as its minister. It offers full services on a daily basis. At one time there was a synagogue in Clarkston which is in the central lowlands of Scotland. We can't show it to you because the building has been torn down and replaced by an apartment complex. It was called the Netherly Clarkston and Queen's Park Hebrew Congregation. Established in 1940, it closed in 2012 and was of the Orthodox practice. This concludes our brief look at the Scottish Jewish houses of worship. There may be others that we did not show, but their publicity is difficult to come by. So it is on to another European country. See you soon.